Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everybody. Holy cow, stuff is Things really happening are fast. Heated up. Marty's convinced that the Sacred Cavern is alive and has no, a mind of its okay, own. <laughs> no, I'm saying like I think it takes on I don't know. Do you think there's somebody think like of... in a control room somewhere? Maybe! <laughs> well, what if you can get off the island, not by bridge? Like what if it goes down and deep and then it's like oh. through and underneath the river you could get out? Interesting. Well, let's keep going, shall we? <sighs> There's still tons more twists to go. February sure. 9th, Inner Temple Training Hall. Right, is this what Godot was talking about? Yeah, the trick locks. Now then, Iris, please remove these at once. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I can't. It, it's not possible for me. What? During the earthquake, when the cavern was in danger of caving in, Iris escaped. And I know that there was only one lock when I last came here. So you're saying that you can't undo the new locks? Yes. If only I was stronger! Edgeworth, how are you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. Like you're one to talk with your face all green. Miles Edgeworth, go and get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You go and get your grip- or get a grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous, I'm perfectly fair! There's no telling what sort of mistakes you could make in your current state. Go and get some rest! That's your only concern now, Miles Edgeworth. That's true, no one will get away with her. She'll just be like, yeah. oh, psh, psh, psh. Understood. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take care of things here. Poor Edgeworth. Poor everyone in this case, honestly. <laughs> Except Dahlia. <laughs> she can yeah. go to hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no point. That was a terrible thing to say, I'm sorry. No, it's true. <laughs> nah, kind of. Edgeworth. He's got so much pride that he's probably off crying in a corner of the garden. Pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. That said, one must have pride to be efficient- er, I almost said- Lilla, One must have pride to be effective on the job, and guess who was just flying from Germany the other day and Francesca probably hasn't slept in like 24 hours. Oh, no. <laughs> there is no way that she's slept at all. At any rate, it seems that this is where we part ways, Phoenix Wright- No! I'm going to stay here and see if I can't- if I can't help solve? Yeah, that's that's oh. a way of saying it. English is weird. <laughs> if I can help solve. I mean, you could... You're, you're probably supposed to say it, if I can help solve, but you're gonna say, if I can't help solve these? Like, it's... If I can't help solve these? Yeehaw! <laughs> that sounds weird, though. I'm going to stay here and see if I can help solve these bothersome puzzles. I see. Well, thanks for your help. Now then, do you mind if I ask you a thing, few things, Iris? No. Not at all. Thought she was gonna be like, I do mind. <laughs> Leave me alone. Why did you make a run for it, Iris? I, I'm sorry. I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquake we had. I, I was so worried I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. I thought you were gone. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the sacred cavern was all right, but... But what? Then I saw these chains here. I saw all of these extra locks that someone had put on the sacred cavern's door, and I... Hmm... Who in the world would have done something like this? You. <laughs> these trick locks are a sacred treasure of the Karain tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who sets the lock can open it. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but, like, mm -hmm. how many of these... It's not like you get a huge supply of Karain locks and you're like, All right, let's put this on. Like, it's not like they're yeah. in a corner piling up. And aren't you the one who set these locks? I don't think it's that simple, Francisca Von Karma. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow, there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. And they wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Hmm. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. I wonder. 
That means that Iris can only open one of these locks, the first one. Yes, that's correct. What? Iris, try to think, please. Isn't there any other way around this? Yeah, it's called getting the jaws of life and cutting the chains. <laughs> the jaws of life. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, like I said, there's hundreds of different ways to set the locks. I suppose if I went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. But... It will take time, won't it? Yes, about a day if I had to guess. A whole day?! Well, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do this for us? Sure. I'll do whatever I can. We've got to wait another day? Hang in there, Maya. You're going to have to call on your inner strength now. You're also going to be dead now, because I'm pretty sure if you go three days without water, you're dead. There's water in there. There's the freezing waterfall. <laughs> if you go two weeks without food, you're dead. And that's oh, you can, the, you the can actually food. last a while. It, like, it, over 40 days without food. Okay, well... Jesus did it. <laughs> but Jesus is very special. Other people can do the 40-day yeah, fast. I, I've it's heard just of it. you need... You probably need, like, a doctor to help you out. You do. Uh, yeah. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. And what might that be, Phoenix Wright? I think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Please, Iris, don't give me that look. You told us that you were in your room at Hazakura Temple at the night of the incident. But you were seen at the same evening at the Inner Temple. And then... You were spotted at the scene of the crime in Hazakura Temple, too. Being spotted at both Hazakura Temple and the Inner Temple. It's as if you were... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. Well, this is stupid, because she didn't have any psych locks before. <laughs> I knew it. There's something going on here that we don't know about. Oh, sure. Stop crying. Don't cry. <laughs> Those aren't okay, real tears. <laughs> I'm wondering if Pearl is the source of these locks. Just hear me Do out. Do explain. I'm wondering this because she would know how to set them. She probably has, like, mastered all the combinations by Morgan. <laughs> and I'm wondering if she came here, found Maya, and, like, maybe, like, frozen in glass. You know how there's that scene in Zelda or whatever where Zelda's in the rupee and she's like... Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was something like that and she's like, holy crap, no one can see this. This is terrible. And then she sets all of these locks, throws gravy on Misty <laughs> Faye, and she has, like... For a, reasons. Has a mental <laughs> breakdown, essentially. Hmm. Interesting theory. Um, and I'm wondering if she, like, figured out how to unset the one that yeah. Iris set and then reset it once mm -hmm. she found it. Could you take a look at this for me, Iris? Yow! The locks are far more important at this moment, wouldn't you agree? She's right. I'm going to have to hold off on asking her about things for now. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's great. Everything's great. Yeah. Come on, Pearl, where'd you go? February 9th, Inner Temple Garden. The cops are still combing the place. They look pretty nervous, even though there's no one here. <laughs> yeah. I'd be nervous, too. It's gotta be a tough job. Hey, uh... Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. <sighs> How could I have done that? Wow, I can't believe it's still bothering him. Edgeworth? Ah! Did he just run off? Hey! Don't you dare run away! What do you want, right? What do I want? If you came here to laugh at me, then get on with it. <laughs> Go on, laugh away. <sighs> I was ready to hug it out with him, but he's just being the same prideful Edgeworth. <laughs> Edgeworth's not gonna give you a hug. No way. You went back to the criminal affairs department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris? Yes. And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. Well, that... We already know all the... <sighs> I know all of this. You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation of the garden here, huh? There's a high chance that this is the actual scene of the crime, that's why. You mean, because of the writing in blood and the talisman in the snow? Exactly. As you know, those fiends couldn't have been planted here after the murder. But surely, you don't suspect Maya, do you? We have to treat everyone as a suspect, Maya as well as Iris. It's our job, right? Ugh, fine. So, I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. No. 
Thankfully, my nightmares have stopped. That's good. But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor, I find myself short of breath. Seventeen years ago, when we were little school kids at the same elementary school, Edgeworth found himself in the middle of a murder. Yeah, we remember that. We all played the previous games! Not necessarily, though. Oh. It all started with that big quake that hit the courthouse. Didn't it collapse, too? Some of it? Yeah. But that was when Mom Carver came in and shot them! Huh? Yes. I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was a defense attorney. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out. That's when it happened. That single gunshot shattered my whole life. I lost everything that day, all because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, and your mom. And myself. Nope. No mom? Single dad. What? Who the. Ugh. But his dad seemed cool. Yeah, but then he died. No, but I'm saying, like, who would ever split up with him? Maybe she died. Maybe she died. Okay, so then Edgeworth was like. Or Von Carver was like, I will take you into my family, Edgeworth. I will be your father, God. <laughs> It's like, that would be terrible. I'm a great father. You the best. How, I, you could say I'm the perfect father. You see how good my daughter turned out. She's just like whipping people constantly. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> it's been more than 17 years now. And that case was finally resolved three years ago, right? You think I don't know that? I was there. And you were the one who's doing that. Stop, yeah. stop patting yourself on the back. But it was such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself in my life. I'm sorry, right? There's nothing else I can say. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after you saved me. Edgeworth, you're stronger than you think, so no more of this self-pity, okay? Yeah. He's pretty great. There was something that bothered me about her from the moment we met. Yeah. I felt like I'd seen her somewhere before. Wow. No, wait. Not somewhere. I felt like I'd seen her in court before. So you went back to the criminal affairs department to look into her file? Yes, I checked over every case file I've ever worked on. And I was right. I had seen her face before, six years ago. Six years ago? It was my first appearance in court, and as cases go, it was my worst nightmare. So, who is she? I'm sorry, right? I can't give that information away to a member of the general public. Guess what? We were involved in the case too! So, <laughs> open your mouth! What? Why not? It might be the, the crucial piece of this puzzle that solved the case. The woman I knew was the daughter of a jewelry store owner. She had nothing to do with Iris and Hazakura Temple. And neither did the case. No, that woman is completely unrelated to this murder. Unrelated? Yes, I can say that with complete confidence. You're wrong, Edgeworth! She's totally related to this case. I need to fill Edgeworth in. Yeah. I need to explain the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. Well, this will be a cinch. We just... Is that your attorney's badge? Interesting. I never imagined I'd ever see you wearing one of these, right? It's because of you that I became one, Edgeworth. Yeah, because of lunch money that Larry <laughs> stole. <laughs> Not that I have any regrets. I really don't. If you're trying to say thanks, you can start by saying it a bit louder. <laughs> I saw his mouth move a little bit when he did the dot dot dot. Oh, I didn't. Wow, would you look at all this stuff? It's almost like... Uh, just, yeah, just present her profile. Apparently, Iris was taken by the sisters here at the temple when she was a child. No, well, she wasn't. However, we still don't know much about her past, so we're looking into it. That reminds me. Edgeworth went back to the criminal affairs- WE JUST TALKED ABOUT THIS, yeah. YOU DOOFUS! <laughs> Come on! Oh, what do you think of Godot? He's something of a legend, I hear. Don't say it like you don't know anything about him. Tell me what you know. It's a bit strange, actually. If he really was anything special, I should have heard about him by now. I'm always well informed about the rookies coming into the prosecutor's office, you know? Then you mean... He isn't anything special? <laughs> You should already know the answer to that. Although, there is one other possibility. What's that? He could have come into the profession from a different channel. What different channel? There's more than one way to become a prosecutor, right? Perhaps he started off as a defense attorney, but decided it wasn't for him. A defense attorney? I didn't even know you could switch sides like that. Yeah, I feel like it's a completely different strategy. <laughs> as <Edward laughs> Please tell 
Apparently he had become something of an apprentice to Elise Donham. Yes, something like that. He did this portrait for me earlier. That's great. Let's just leave it at that about Larry, alright? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone's still mad about at the butts for his performance in court today. <laughs> yeah, Francisca. It's been more than a year since I last saw Francisca myself. But it seems she's been dying to see you again. She really said that? I believe she wants to eat you for breakfast. Or to put it another way, whip you silly. Ha ha ha. Literally and metaphorically. Oh. Go on, let her have her way. It would make for some great- <laughs> it would make for a great anecdote about my trip. Forget it, Edgeworth! <laughs> That's funny. If you want to know how to run the perfect trial, there's a lot to study and learn. Oh, is that what you're studying about right now? I've sat at the prosecutor's bench for trials in five different countries now. The first thing you must do is gain complete mastery of the language. It's quite a task. I'd never get anywhere then. It's taken me a lifetime to, uh, to sort of uh, master one language. That was a weird phrasing. Holy cow. Yeah, it was. I don't know Maya Faye very well, but it seems to me that the girl is always landing herself in trouble. You are right! It seems to me that you know her better than you think. I do sincerely hope she's going to be alright. Yeah. One of the biggest names in the world of laws, I'm sure you'll agree. For better or for worse, we were only destined to meet once in the courtroom. I know. I read all about it. It was the first time for the both of us. Two novices, head to head. I can still remember how downhearted I felt after that trial ended the way it did. I wonder if Mia felt the same way too. I'm sure. Have you seen Pearl? <laughs> Seems Pearl was trapped on this side of the river on the night of the murder. Did she tell you anything? Listen, right. She's just a kid. I can't force things out of her. You'll have to be the one to find out what she knows. Okay. How surprisingly decent of you. Yeah. I was with, just with Detective Gumshoe. I treated him to some pasta. Oh my gosh. You owe him that much! After all, it's your fault his salary is so low. How's it my fault? And look, if you're going to buy the guy lunch, then at least get him something decent, okay? Pasta's great! Gumshoe practically lives on pasta and noodles already. Okay, well... Well, I did order some extra Parmesan cheese on top. He was crying tears of joy as he dug into it. It was quite moving. All you have to do is give the poor guy a raise! <laughs> yep. Poor Gumshoe. It's crossed my mind once or twice that her testimony might be a bunch of lies. There certainly are a lot of problems with it. The thing is, as far as I can tell, she has no reason to deceive us. I believe she did meet the defendant at the Inner Temple and witnessed the murder, too. The one in the Hazakura Temple Courtyard, in any case. What if she's the murderer and then she just snaps in court and she's like, ha ha ha! Ha ha! That would be funny. Another victim we know nothing about, same as always. I hope you'll tell me if you know something about our mystery woman, right? Oh! I know I that know. Elise Donum was no ordinary visitor to the temple, but her true identity can be a useful weapon for the defense. And I can't give that away just like that. He's part of our team! Not anymore! <laughs> he should be! Later! Bye! What's up? Oh, please tell me Von <laughs> Karma didn't lose her again. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm finally getting to the bottom of this case. I can count on Iris to break these locks, so I should try to gather more clues. From Sister Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls. Dude, why are you trusting Dahlia so much? <laughs> why have you not found Pearls? February 9th, Dusky Bridge. It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. I'm sure it gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check out the shack just down this path. Maybe I'll find Larry there sulking again. Yeah, let's look, because I want to see if Pearl's down there. February 9th, Heavenly Hall. Oh! Mr. Nick! Pearls! What are you doing here? N nothing What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Um, well, we don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hey! What are you doing here, Nick? Larry. This is the loser Shack, where losers get together to lose themselves! Oh my gosh, that sounds like a great slogan. <laughs> so, this is the what? Hey, we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? You got a problem with that? Look, Mr. Nick, Mr. Larice did a picture of me! That's, um, great, Pearls. We're going to gather firewood now. We'll be cooking some half rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. So stay out of our way! I don't believe this. Why can't he try getting fired up over some- over becoming a better man? 
No one believes a word I say anymore. Listen to me, Pearl. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He'll only let you down. Oh, Mystic Maya. But we still got the happy music. Larry, is there something you want to tell me about this picture? Heh, I got nothing to say to you, Nick. My life's turned here now with Pearl. Two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. You know what? That doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> what am I going to do with him? Alright then, what do you think about this picture, Pearls? I... I think it's really well drawn! I can't draw it all, so I think it's really amazing. See? Someone appreciates it! It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know. Yeah, I imagine. Fire's really hard to draw. Fire's hard to draw. It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it! It's like a dream! A wonderful fantasy! Uh, no, no, no! It wasn't a dream! She really flew! I'm telling you, Iris really flew that night! But Mr. Loris... <sighs> Not you too! Please don't look at me like that, Pearl! Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase! I beg of you! I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was here that night. But I was wide awake after the lightning struck! And I saw what I saw! It was exactly like I drew in the picture! And it looks like I don't have any choice but to take this sketch at face value. Hey! What's with that look of doubt on your face?! Um, Pearls? Yes, Mr. Nick? I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. Where were you, and what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um, I... I was just, well, I'm just a kid, you know? I'm sure it doesn't really matter what I was doing, d d does it, Mr. Nick? Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. On the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Miss Donum's room reading a book together. But... Miss Donum was murdered, and you, Pearls, were at the Inner Temple. <sighs> Just what exactly happened that night, Pearls? I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. Yeah, somebody's got five snipe locks. <laughs> yep. I like I... how- What? I like how the psych locks, because Pearls are so short, they have to they rearrange have to come them. Over. <laughs> I, I've been a bad girl. I know I'll be punished. What are you talking about, Pearls? My spiritual power. It has disappeared. What? Her powers have disappeared? Well, that's weird. What do you mean your powers disappeared, Pearls? Is this like Korra with- <gasps> Airbend! <laughs> Airbend! Like, she's like, can't, like, bend at all. Airbend! Airbend! <laughs> it's- It's all over for me. A spirit medium who can't channel spirits is- like a painter who can't paint. Hey! What are you looking at me for?! <laughs> Pearls, did you try to channel someone's spirit right here at Hazakura Temple? Try Tried but failed, perhaps? Uh... <laughs> Way to go, Nick! You made her cry! That's... That was really c cruel of you! <laughs> <laughs> Just as I thought. I'm going to have to break her psych lock to get the truth out of her. I wonder if she tried to channel Maya, and she was able to. And then she was like, No! <laughs> um, Pearls? It's no good. She's in no condition to look at anything for me right now. Aw, oh, man! We gotta find Lame. stuff. Lame! I wanted to present everything to her, just like I presented everything to Edgeworth, you know? Scythe is always maybe, looking out for the town, Maybe we need to go back know? to the main gate and see what's up. Oh yeah, what do you know? February 9th, Hasakura Temple Main Gate. I wonder if Sister Bikini has gone back to the main hall already. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere? I bet Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. Probably. Wow. No, it's probably true. Oh, well, there she is. <laughs> February 9th, Hasakura Temple Main Hall. Well, what's the damage? How is the sacred cavern? It looks like it survived. But we have a bigger problem now. Thank you for telling all- yeah. I told Sister Bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. But who- who could have done that? 
The only people who know how to set those trick locks are those of the Karain tradition. See, what did I tell you? It could be Pearl! Yeah, it could. We have Iris at the Sacred Cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk with you about, Sister Bikini. Oh, yes. We were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes. You were telling me about how the Master of Karain disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Fae suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic Elise... No, I mean Mystic Misty arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved that she was the master, she said... Someone is trying to destroy the Karain's tradition's main family line. I am here to put a stop to them. So in other words, someone's trying to kill Maya. Basically. Someone was trying to destroy the main family line? There's only one hair, hair. hair. There's only one heir to the title of the master at any time, and it's usually the eldest. That child becomes the new master of Karain and her daughters, the main family. All other mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families always have, and always will plot to erase those of the main family line. That seems... Really stupid. Like, I've never understood this. <laughs> mm, okay, but here's how it could work. Let's say you are king. You're king of... Being king would suck! No, but let's say you are, okay? Let's say you're king of, like, France, or, like, yeah. you're the leader of the village. Like, think Moana here. Okay, but this isn't... I, I understand, like, the whole, like, kings, like, princes assassinating kings, like, Scar from the Lion King. I get that. This is not, like, a kingdom. This is, like, oh, yeah... This is like, oh yeah, like the head plumber is killing the, the other head plumber okay, so he no. can gain control of the company. It's more like that. It's more like that, which force. this is something, at least back in the day, that was so powerful that people believed in and that people I know. would use frequently. Like they've had it for murder cases and people would come to them like fortune tellers wishing to see their future or wishing uh -huh. to talk to their past. And to be the leader of that would be huge. It would be like the difference between being like the head of a company and getting a huge salary and getting all of the perks and like make and like making sure that your family like you wouldn't have to pay for college if you think about it they would just immediately <laughs> they don't go to college no but i'm saying whoever's the next in line would just immediately get it and anyone within your intimate family would be taken care of i and guess there's but, kind I mean... of but people there's people have a problem with that and you know morgan's side of the family is probably like <sighs> I really wanted to have that power. And especially since, like, Misty Faye's been gone for so long, it's kind of like one of those... There's so many fairy tales where it's like... We literally just watched Enchanted. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, my son has to take over the thing, but I want the throne forever. It's kind of like that, which I know Again, but some people it doesn't make sense, but it's kind of... It's like the leader of a village, essentially. Okay, I get why they would do it back in the day, but right now... No offense to my Karain Village is not doing well. No, it's not. And that's probably part of why they want to seize the power. Because once she becomes the real master and is able to train more... But it also can be, like, with time, um, thing traditions fade out. Mm -hmm. And this is probably something that won't last forever. But right. for as long as it does last, people want it. Mm. Sorry, really long <laughs> explanation. Is the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? I don't think so, no. I would say no, but who knows? It could be really important. You believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know its power's real. Yes, I do. I mean, we've seen it ourselves. It's been three years since I first met Maya. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. During the Mask to Mask case. And during the Maggie Bird's trial. During the Maggie Bird's trial! <laughs> during Maggie Bird's trial! <laughs> Who could forget that one? Thanks to Maya, Mia's always been on hand to help me out when I need her the most. Except during Rise from the Ashes. Yeah. The Karain technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know. I mean, the ability to commune with the dead. That's true psychic power, you know. Members of the tradition have always been there behind every important leader. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but... With all that power and influence, I kind of expected you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? <laughs> You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one little mistake. A mistake? What mistake? You remember! 
remember this! We heard about the case! It was 17 years ago. That was when everything came crashing down. All because of that incident. That incident. Is she talking about what I think she is? I'm sure the records still exist if you're interested. Look it up, er, locked up, of course. It was called the DL6 incident. That's the name of the file. The DL6 incident, huh? How do you know the name of the file? Were you in the police station? I love how all of the different cases are coming together now. I mean, yeah, like, but- Even now, DL6 is still having an impact on the story. Mm -hmm. The DL6 incident. I know it well. I handled a related case just three years ago. Ah, oh, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. Yeah, we all remember. A murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. And the medium who performed the channeling was Misty Fay, Maya's mother. Through Misty Ma- er, Mystic Misty's- Ah, oh, it's so hard to say. Through Mystic Misty channeling, the name of the certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. But that man, he was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right. He was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen the Korean tech- er, the Korean tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media, the public, the judiciary, the people of the Korean village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Misty's powers were a shame. Sham. Also a shame. <laughs> Shamefully used! And then she was just disappeared. Vanished. While well, everyone has still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth! Misty Faye's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't! And since you managed to reveal the truth, we are finally making a comeback. The Korean tradition is starting to recover at last. But with a new master wielding the power of the clan. Does she mean Maya? It's your favorite music. <laughs> yeah, I love his music. The spiritual power of the Korean channeling technique is in the blood. Maya's told me the exact same thing before. We, the women of the Fey family, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. Yeah, because like all the men kind of are thrown out, right? No, they just leave because they grow tired yeah. of being uninvolved. The main family's bloodline stems directly from Mystigami. But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. And the ones who don't become branch family- who, the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. And it's always the cause of tragedy. You know, Maya had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her wife. As a result. Do you know what Mystic Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mother and her aunt. Yes, indeed. Morgan. That's right. Misty Fay had an elder sister, too. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the Master's seat okay, from her. Okay, that's- yeah, that explains everything! <laughs> Everyone has that- that one sibling that's just very talented. <laughs> Misty- er, uh, Mystic- <laughs> Mystic Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Mystic Misty Miss- <laughs> Morgan, there's a name I know well. It was a year ago now at Maya's home, Korean Village. Let's have a million- What she did was terrible. It was all so she could make her own daughter the next master. And she drank paint! That was and really she weird! paint! <laughs> I suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must have already realized that Iris- Huh? Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is Mystic Morgan's daughter. Really?! What? Iris is what?! That's amazing! Is she kidding me?! 
Iris is Morgan Fay's daughter? Wouldn't Pearl re no Pearl wouldn't recognize her. Wait, that's the that's the most ridiculous age gap <laughs> and plot twist. <laughs> Indeed. Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Fay's daughter? Oops, I thought you already knew. It sounded like you'd met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. I have. I know her very well. Oh. Yeah, Pearls. Pearl Fay. But I always thought she was an only child. You jest! That child! She's Mystic Morgan's! I had no idea. I guess they look kind of similar. Especially when Morgan. Iris is facing right at you. Her facial structure is really yeah. similar to Pearl's, actually. I wondered, but... <laughs> Did she also do the, like, I'm gonna go to school and make something of myself? I guess. I mean, what Also, that department? means she would have, like, been going to school and they're like, by the way, you have a younger sister. And she's like, ugh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Mystic Morgan. But she's in prison now, isn't she? Yes. Ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. Yeah, everybody knows that. It was all done to set Pearls up as the next master. But geez, like... <sighs> but Morgan doesn't look anything like her daughters. At all. Take after their father, I guess? We don't know yes! who their father is. <laughs> I see, so I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not two. Wait, what? what? Who's the other one? Three? Yes, Iris, her twin sister, and Pearl... I was right! She had a twin?! Are you kidding me?! Ugh! So in other words, there's Iris, there's Dahlia, and they're identical mirror twins. What?! Twin sister?! This is ridiculous! Oh, didn't you know it all happened 20 years ago? What happened 20 years ago? After the clan leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. What, did she just go off and- Oh, whoa. It was- She started drinking paint? It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't many years later that Corrine's reputation hit an all-time low. When Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master, he left her in the village, taking their twin daughters with him. Oh! That's- that's sad. How awful. He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried, and that's when it happened. Okay. I guess that makes sense, but... Man, this is just... Why... If she's a twin sister, number one, she has red hair. And then the Maybe other one has black it. hair. Okay, let's say they have the same colored hair. How do they have the exact same personality? Well, and tendencies? We don't know that, because we haven't seen Iris act like a psychopath. So she might actually be nice, and Dolly is just... Dolly's horrible. like, ha ha ha! I'm like Morgan! <laughs> Pew! He decided to give up one of his daughters when he looked after us here at the temple. <laughs> Try again, Marty. <laughs> he decided to give up one of his girls up to be looked after by us here at the temple. That's better. <laughs> That's what it was. No, he said he decided to give one of his girls up while he looked after us at the temple. He didn't do that. <laughs> he looked after us, you know. That was Iris, you see. It's unbelievable. If Iris has a twin sister... This is ridiculous. Could it be... Um, could you tell me one more Fane sister bikini? What was the name of Iris's sister? Oh, her name was, uh... <laughs> Never Ch <laughs> Chetna. <laughs> her name was Chetna. <laughs> Weird girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can recall is her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. That's enough! Hmm, a jeweler. Thank you very much. You've helped clear up a lot of details. Pearls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger toward the main family. Anger? What do you mean? Her twin daughters were taken by her, by her, from her by her jeweler husband. But even that couldn't destroy her dream that a child of hers would one day lead the clan. That's why she had pearls? It seems that the incident here was a res result of Mystic Morgan's anger. Wow! Mystic Morgan sucks! She's awful. She's awful, and she's the reason everything's I happening. I blame all the paint fumes. <laughs> paint. Messes you up. It was, a it was able to break free of the bars that confine her. So Iris has a twin sister. 
Who's the a plot psychopath? Thickens. But this information will be useless unless I can flesh it out a bit. Well, guess what? When we talk to Pearls, maybe. I need to ask some more questions to get some more info. Pearls probably doesn't know anything about it. Well, well. Also, if we go to profiles now. <laughs> creepy side portrait. Yeah, okay. Morgan Fay, don't know how old she is. Doesn't matter. <laughs> In solitary confinement, as she should be. Yeah, she was crazy. All right. That's going to do it for this episode, uh, everybody. I had to, We had to get through those yeah, twists. I know. This was a little longer than an average episode. Tune in next time. We might be able to finish up the investigation. And if so. break Pearl's psych lock and stuff. And we still have irises as well. And then we got to figure out where. <laughs> and we got to go to Edgeworth <sighs> we gotta as well. Out if my and, we is okay. and we still have to go back to the, uh, uh, the courtyard where Bikini saw the stuff happen. Okay, maybe that'll be two videos. Who knows? Look forward to that next time until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless. Don't drink paint.